Listen, chat, let's hop into the Reddit, man. Hey, there's a lot of shit going on in the Reddit world, man. A lot of shit. Um, where's my man Val? Is that Val's in here today? That's my fucking guy right there. A positive piece of news for once. What is this, man? Um, L A T A M. What is this? What does that even stand for? Starting in 2022, official challenges competitions will expand into Latin America. Okay, that's what it stands for. Uh, for the first time, not only will this grow the competitive Call of Duty ecosystem, but it also adds a new uh, path pathway for amateur players to go pro. Check out the Call of Duty Challenges website for a full list of eligible countries. That's lit. That's sick. Bro, the, the more it expands, the better. I, I, I mean, you can't, can't go wrong with expanding into different countries and shit. I mean, that's fucking dope. I fuck with that. What the fuck is this? 0xz0000005. Anyone know how to fix this air code? I've already deleted the player's folder. Allowed Vanguard in my antivirus. Uh, dude, I have no idea anything about that shit. I'm so bad with that stuff, bro. So just, you know, cancel that out. Call of Duty League competitive settings. V1.0. Still being updated. Hey, dude, I see a lot of people talking about this shit, man. Search to destroy. Tuscan Bokage. Desert Siege. Berlin. Demyansk. What do you guys feel? 1 out of 10. 1 being dirt shit. 10 being... Uh, you know, fucking insane. Uh, very good. Where do you get these maps, dude? What do you get these maps? <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, you're all coming in. I know people can't see right now because uh, the, the background is white. But there, I'll switch over to that. A lot of people are, are calling a fugaze on this, dude. A lot of people are calling fugaze on this. Um, Lengthen and FMJ banned, huh? Why is Lengthen banned? It doesn't make any sense. Hardpoint, Tuscan, Bokage, Gavitu, Berlin, and Desert Siege. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about the hardpoint? You guys think the hardpoint is good? Then we got, uh, what is this? Primary weapons, shotguns, okay, secondary weapons, attachments, muzzle, so they got rid of all the silencers. What is this? Bayonet, thank God the bayonet's out of there. Jesus Christ, didn't. Jesus Christ, dude. What else is here? Perks. Perks. Dauntless Ghost. Tracker Heiler. Ford Intel. Pierce Division. Overkill. Lethal. Throwing Nice Thermite. And Mushy Charge. Wait. What about, the, what about the Gammon Bombs? What about the Gammon Bombs? Are we using those? Kill Streaks. Okay. I don't know, dude. Uh, dude, I don't give a fuck. G the, the rule, the actual rule set has nothing to do with actual pro Call of Duty rule set because they'll just GA like shit. You know what I'm saying? They'll just GA stuff. Yeah, I'm guessing that the the gammons are gonna be GA, right? They have to be. I mean, dude, the gammon grenades are so stupid, bro. So stupid. And they have to figure out what's going on with stun grenades because, guys, stun grenades do 20% damage like that. That needs to get fucking scratched out immediately. They gotta do something about this shit. I know you do these Reddit streams. I suggest you get a uh, you get Bit Defender antivirus and right click and scan every link. Very easy for someone to post a link and get access to your system. Oh, thank you, Dermo. Is that actually a thing? I didn't even know that was a fucking thing, bro. Dave making a switch to Halo out of lack of enjoyment for Vanguard. Um, dude, this is where things get interesting. I saw a lot of this stuff today, man. Uh, yo, Sergeant Spaz coming in hot with a nine months. Appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much for the for the nine months, man. Welcome back. Uh, I see a lot of people in challenges t debating whether or not to go to Halo. Um, it seems like Dave and uh, who was it? It was Esport, right? Josh Esport or jo the EU Josh. I can't see myself screaming on this game every day in its current state. I just can't do it to myself. Not stopping completely because I may return, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna give Halo a go since I've already got a lot of experience on it in the past. Excited to have fun again. Um, so it looks like uh, you know some people are making a little bit of a switch here. Um, what do you guys think about this? I mean, it, I feel like it was only... Oh, yeah, B-Sport. That's who it was. B-Sport Josh. I mean, I feel like it was only a matter of time before we start seeing people trying to make a switch like this. Um, hey, you aren't wrong. Scroll to the right to see Dave's take. But for, uh, for real, who made this list? It's so bad the wrong people are in charge for sure. Um, Vital and Recoil Booster not banned in settings. Damage mags? Question mark. They banned every secondary. You physically have to equip a second weapon. How are we supposed to not use them? Whoever made the rules, they, are they even in touch with pros? Have they watched the scrim? What the fuck is COD doing, dude? This is comical. Uh, Dave then said, I genuinely can't comprehend how a multi-billion dollar company and a multi 
million dollar league can be this out of touch with what's going on blows my mind how things somehow keep getting worse since the game has been released um interesting i'm up for the smoke that haggy's bringing towards the cdl much deserved criticism being year three of the cdl it's becoming pathetic at this point he's really taking it to the cdl vanguard like two or three posts a day at a parasite lol dude that's why hey bro that's why i want to get parasite on the show because i just feel like he'll be honest and he'll just spit it how it is um because parasite's just so in touch with what's going on because he's just playing it every day that getting haggy in on the flank and, and having him explain a little bit you know some of the things that he he wants to change and shit i mean i'm all for it bro i'm definitely all for it facts or fiction what is this we'll knock someone out brim scraps and shawnee We'll put up a good fight. Uh, uh, what is this? RC's Dashy, Bands, Apathy, Major, Big P, Formal Kenny, Draza, and Vivid. We'll put up a fight but lose. Scump, Envoy, Cami, Pristini, Ender, Slasher, Donnie, Awakening, Assault, and Nicola, Nikki D. We'll watch you get beat up. Octane. <laughs> Mid Octane, uh, Insight, Standy, John. Who's that? Havoc? Is that Havoc? Who is that? Um, Yuli, Kyla, Clay, Dylan, Attach, my man Kleenex. We'll slide cancel away. <laughs> a busy Sim, Shotzi, Neptune, Hydra, and Asim. Doesn't stand a chance. Silly, Paul X, uh, uh, Mental, Priest Up, Mac, Skies, Venom, Alex, and Zap. We'll snake a heady in real life. Selling will lose a 1v1 to Envoy TJ. Okay, that's not right. The last one was just unacceptable. I mean, the last one's just unacceptable, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's not right at all, bro. That's not fucking right at all. <laughs> yeah, Apathy not being at the top. Yeah, dude, why is Apathy not in will knock somebody out? Like, what? How the fuck? Silly is 6'4 and fully tatted. He would knock you out and steal your girl and go back to his girl after. Um... Interesting. Okay. We're gonna stay away from that. I had some comments there, but you know, we're not gonna say that. That's not right at all. That's not right at all. Looks like there won't be any challenges events that will be able to be on land until maybe Champs was hoping to have the top four teams of the elite travel to where stage would be. Looks like most of the challenges is online. I mean, what do you guys think about that, man? I mean, most of the challenges is fucking online, you know? Uh it's interesting. Uh interesting. I would have loved to see some challenges be on land a little bit. I would have loved it. Um I feel like challenges online is just so meh, you know? It's just so... I, bro, I just feel like challenges is such in a bad state right now. I mean, did I sort of prizes to, to challengers too? I mean, we'll, we'll see it as we scroll down. Krusty challenger event. Um, They're still talking about the, what the fucking... What's banned and shit, what's restricted. Uh, early challenges map set. Oh, baby, what do you think? Only two game votes for the first challengers event. Uh, so was it gonna be hardpoint SD chat? I mean, that's for gays, man. We need a third game mode. Bro, the fact that we're not playing with a third game mode yet is insane, dude. Where is the third game mode? Ma, where the fuck is the third game mode? Where the fuck did it go? Like, that's insane, dude. That is insane. Hey, Schmeet, thank you for the five months, Schmeet. Appreciate you, bro. Welcome back. Get a fucking man, bro. I'm gonna switch to Halo? No, come on. Don't switch to Halo. Come on. Let's fucking keep it going. Castle sucks, so this is good. Them Yanks and Desert Siege are gonna be automatic vetoes. The hill where you have to mantle on top of a platform in Desert Siege has to be one of the worst hills in the last few years. Glad Castle has outlooked great. Played so bad. A lot of these maps play bad, bro. A lot of them. Let's just... Let, hey, bro. Let's be honest. We're gonna have to bring back more maps like we did last year with Cold War. Uh, 2022 Challenger Season Update. The Bloom nerf is slash was very helpful for mouse and keyboard players like me. Well, that's good. Uh, if you're a mouse and keyboard player, I guess Bloom was very, very helpful. I had no idea. We need Raid. Dude, Raid would be fire, Simba. Raid would be fire. No bullshit. Dashy Rambo discusses first week of Optic Texas scrims. Ooh, let's tune in. Hey there, I'm Sean Collins. I'm the East. We'll tune in. We'll tune in after this. We'll, we'll tune in and we'll, and, we'll, and we'll watch this after we go through the Reddit. Trey, a Warzone player. Is that a fair statement? No. Who the fuck's calling him a Warzone player? How's that a fair statement? Mm -mm -mm. The fuck you mean he was a Warzone pro? What is this? 2020 dog water. Well, this guy's a fucking moron. Hello, you ever seen EU COD? Ha 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 ha. Nasty is raw, Lokito. I just think it's funny because Trey was just a Warzone pro last year. No, he was not. No, he was not. 
Trey was a competitive CDL player and something happened with his visa that stopped him from competing here in the States. So ultimately, Trey had to take a year off because of a bunch of bullshit. So I'm happy to see Trey back in there doing what he's doing. I mean, that's Trey Boy Cardi, baby. You know what I'm talking about? But I see a lot of stupid fucking takes on social media. But welcome to the fucking free world. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this guy's a fucking moron. You know? I'm surprised he hasn't deleted it yet. Because what a fucking moronic take. Former reflecting on what World Series of Warzone has turned him into. Oh, this is funny as fuck. Dude, 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 this is fucking comedy. Watch this. Get yourself, you fucking camper. <laughs> Proud of this. <laughs> Oh my god. You know how trolly would look if someone walked up right here and saw me doing this? I'm just like, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Bro. talking to myself. I love that. Dude, Matt is so funny to me, dude. He's fucking hilarious. What happens to this sub when... So I'm seeing a lot of Warzone League and Warzone morphing into a CDL type league post. Uh -uh. And many differ, uh, differing opinions. So what happens to this sub when, it, uh, when if it does happen... Will we all migrate into Warzone competitive, or will we fight for COD competitive to stay as is? Wait, what? So I'm seeing a lot of Warzone League and Warzone Warfing into a CDL type league? In my opinion, this sub should have nothing to do with the Warzone part of things, or should be a completely... Yeah, why Why would this sub turn into a Warzone? Did... Well, I mean, COD competitive. Okay, no, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I mean, it is called COD competitive. Warzone is COD. And if they're trying to force Warzone into competitive, I think they should just keep the same... They should just keep the same Reddit. Just do, do everything through COD competitive. The Warzone and uh, everything. It's fake COD? No, it's COD. But it's just not the same, you know? Um, I personally would love to have COD, you know, stay under one, you know? Is there a Warzone Reddit? Is there a Warzone Reddit that I don't know of? Because if there is, I definitely want to start taking a look at it. A Shaken Bakey. Thank you for the five months, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Welcome back, baby. Appreciate everybody coming in with some resos, man. You guys are the goats, dude. Thank you, guys. FaZe Optic Envy Formal is no more. I saw it. Is I saw that Formal was going to play with FaZe, and then now FaZe is... is what What are they? They dropped Formal now, and they picked up Snipe Down? Um, and apparently, Snipe Down was the original fourth, and then they got rid of Snipe Down, got Formal, and I, I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea, but I think regardless, Formal's going to have some fun and compete with somebody. Um... Well, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I don't know what happened with this. I, I thought Formal was on was going to play with the phase boy. Damn, why the fuck was that so loud? Why the fuck was that so loud, dude? What the fuck? Jesus. Wait, that's actually lit. That was actually lit. Wait, that was actually fucking lit. Wait, that was actually cool. That was fire. Tuscan, all of my current jump spots, head glitches, lines of sight, etc. Two minutes. Okay, nice line of sight there. Okay, nice line of sight there as well. Oh. Okay. All right, not bad. Very well edited video. Nice spot. Okay. Little off angle. Okay. Little spot in the hill. Okay. Little off angle in the hill. Okay. That's a good spot. Low key. Okay. Climbing a gate. Lots of flowers. Very beautiful. Fantastic. Nice. Nice spot there. Nice, man. This is a great spot for rotation. These are nice spots. What the fuck are these spots? These are actually good spots. I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. Pretty good spots. Okay. Nice little... This little wall here. You know, get a good angle. A good angle. Oh, nice shot there. Nice shot. Okay, not sure about this one. Nice little off angle, but... I mean... Can't really see much. Like this. Nice little hole through the car. Yes. Fantastic. Nice little head glitch here in the back. That's godlike. This is fucking godlike right here. This is godlike. Okay, well, that's just stupid as fuck. I mean, that's just 
absolutely stupid. But nice spot. Oh, wait a second. Yo, he just did that shit quick. Hold up, bro. You go. Oh, that's hey, that's game changer right there. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Can you climb up through here? Can he climb? Can he not climb up from there? Okay, not bad. Not too sh hey, not too shabby. What do you guys rate the spots on a one to ten? Bro, I kind of like it. Hey, Ayo Desta, with an eight months, we got a, a O sensation with a nine months. Feel like I'm in a relationship. Laugh my ass off nine months with the go. And hell yes, yeah, sis, sis, you are in a relationship. It's family, baby. We family. How you doing, fat boy? Coming in, how would I get this up? Thank you, fat boy. And Looney guy, thank you for the four months. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, dude, those are dope spots. Yeah, fuck with that. I really do fuck with that. Hell yeah, dude. Cool, bro. Warzone and CD are completely different skill sets. Warzone is fucking half luck. We've seen a lot of debate about CDL versus Warzone ever since it's come on the game. When you say CDL and Warzone are different games with different skill sets, yes, they both caught it. Go to the vault, but there's a lot of different skills that go into BR. Not saying it requires more skill, just different ones. Huh? <sighs> Everyone on here has taken scum winning the solo yellow drop and decided that means every Warzone player is trash and the game can't be competitive. Which to me says they didn't watch the rest of the tournament where he and Shotzi came in 41st, 75 teams. Scump is a king. And if he devoted himself to Warzone, I'm sure he'd be in the top of tier players. Like you said, it's different skill set and the hate and disrespect on his sub has been crazy. Here's my opinion on it, okay? Here's my opinion. One is you can't compare a squad Warzone game to a 1v1 solo game. I mean, dude, 1v1 solos, I mean, that game was ridiculous. I mean, sure, Scum clutched up and absolutely shit on them because he's talented. But you guys, people in bushes and people running around with ride shields, I mean, guys, that's not competitive. It's not. Scum is just fucking insanely talented and was able to fucking shit on them and win 100k because he's the GOAT and he's the fucking king. But, I mean, if we're talking about squad Warzone, like, actually having strats and teamwork and stuff like that, I think there's a competitive side for it. I think when we're talking about, you know, team fights and stuff, I mean, I definitely think there's a competitive side to Warzone. Um, the solo, you can't compare to solos. You can't. The solos is just a lot of, a lot of luck involved. Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of fugues. A lot of fugues. That's the best way to put it. You guys know I like that word, fugues. It's a lot of fucking fugues. Um, uh, but Skump is a fucking animal, dude. I mean, I'm not taking away anything from what Skump did, because he's a fucking goat for that. Um, I'm just saying, it, like, you can't compare, like, because Skump won it, you can't just have a debate now on, on Warzone's competitiveness. Like, dude, solo Warzone is not that competitive. That's just my personal opinion on it. I don't know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me or disagree? You guys agree that solo Warzone is not that competitive? I personally don't think it is. Um, but it's my opinion. I mean, people might, might think otherwise. I would love to see what some of you guys think. Um, if somebody who does disagree would love to know what you think, but I feel like, uh, you know, it's just not, it just doesn't feel right, especially. Um, and, and that's what some people are, I, I mean, like what this guy was saying and stuff. Warzone actually is a competitive though. A lot of players will tell you that themselves. Uh, it's competitive when it comes to, a when it comes to squads, I think it's competitive. Um, as competitive as multiplayer? No, but it's still competitive. You know what I'm saying? It's not, and that's kind of the point. That's why it's crazy that only one person wins that much money. The Fugues is the content. Yeah, I mean, it's for content. I mean, bro, the fact that first place wins 100k and second place wins nothing. I mean, dude, can you imagine how Aiden felt placing second? I mean, that blows, bro. That fucking blows. Um, aliens come down to Earth, and you have to pick one player to 1v1 them on COD for the sake of the humanity. Who are you picking? Let's make it interesting. This can be any player in their prime. Selium. Selium. The rat man sell him. Dude, if you if, if dude if, if you're in a one if, if if you can have any player to one v one in it bro, if, if we have an alien thing, if fucking aliens are attacking the universe, I'm probably going with my man Cell for sure. Cell for sure the alien would rage quit. <laughs> I would go with Cell him, I think. I think Cell him be my guy. Just cause he's he's ratty, dude. He's ratty. Attach wins his ones. Yeah, attach would be a good one. Selim is just ratty, though. Like, when you when it's coming to a straight-up 1v1 over and over again... Yeah, dude, Dylan wins his ones because he's got big fucking balls. He's got big cojones. You know, he's got big balls. He's got the ice. He's got the clutch factor. You know? Um, I think if, if, if aliens are hitting the land, we're gonna need somebody who's unorthodoxed. And that's my man MC. You know what I'm saying? Bloom, could someone explain Boom? I did it. Boom is fucking stupid. Castle spawn a sniper. 
What is this? Ooh. Oh. Yo. Yo, I want to see my man Blake from TST hit this. Because somebody let him know. Somebody let him know that Zuma wants to see Blake hit this shot. I want to see Blake from TST hit this shot. Because I know he can hit it. I know he can hit it. I want him to try this. I want him to try this. And I want him to hit this shit. Because he's going to do that. I know he is. Hey, Salvatore. Veronella coming in with a seven months. Tommy, you gotta be sub for the whole season. You know the deal. Love the content from uh from an Italian. Hey, Salvador, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Welcome back to the family, Salvador. Forza is already. Forza. You know the fucking vibes, man. So 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 some love to my Italian friend. Every day we stay further from God's light. What? What what is it? What the fuck? CDL champs, you have to be great for months, not just one game. So the yellow beating a lobby of 149 words of monsters is insane. What? Every day we stray further from God's light. What does that mean? Like, people don't fuck with us anymore? Is that what it means? All I feel is pain. <laughs> Casuals are killing comp god. No way, dude. No fucking way. I don't know, man. It is recency bias, what somebody did say. But, you know, what are you gonna do? DS4 Windows, I still don't understand what the fuck that does. Um, team changes longest tenured players. So there's been a lot of team changes, obviously, six black is four. We know Scump has been with OG forever, but if you guys had to guess who's the longest tenured player with one team since black is four outside of Scump, who would your guess be? To be honest, it's not that hard. Um, Dashi, he's technically been on Optic since the start of black is four. It has to be a sale if that doesn't count, right? Um, probably Selium in the phase, guys. Um, that would be my guess. Probably sell. Tusk gonna attack A lane insane. Oh no, because the FaZe guys came from E United. It's Cell. It's gotta be Cell. I mean, MC came into FaZe and he's been with FaZe ever since. You know what I'm saying? He's been with FaZe ever since. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with MC. Tusk gonna attack A lane insane angle. We've seen all these. What is with these angles on Tuscan? Reddit loves their Tuscan. Thoughts on respawn delay? We need a 3.5 or the game plays too fast. That's my thoughts on it. Best way to improve fast. Play as much as possible. Make sure you're uh, focusing on your game. You know, don't play to have fun. Play to get better. And make sure you're putting in the time. I mean, you get better with hard work, man. So that's my advice to you. Sleeper pick for the best series last year. Bar checkmate search. Sleeper pick. Sleeper. Every single ultra phase match was fire. Mm -mm, what match was this? Oh, yeah, dude. No, nah, dude. Phase in Toronto always had uh, good matches, bro. Always. The flank, Ben, and dash drama. Oh, no. Just tuned in to Zuma's stream and caught the tail end of him talking about Dashi Ben and other people's views of Ben. Is anyone more educated on the subject? Um, I was scrolling through this before, man. Um, uh, don't really disagree with what many people were saying. There was a couple things that people were saying um, about Ben, just kind of making fun of him like this. Ben is 31 years old and his claim to fame was being a Twitch mod in Clayson's chat. Give him a break. The dude lives in a very pathetic life. At some point, you need to grow up and not spend every waking second outside of work fantasizing about COD. Um, one, that's not true. He doesn't spend every second of work fantasizing about COD. Um, nor do you know Ben or anything about Ben. So, I mean, for you to come out and say something like this, I think it's ridiculous because you don't know him. He thinks playing golf uh, is a personality trait. No, he doesn't. He just really enjoys to play golf. I think he just likes golf. Um, him and a lot of other people enjoy golf. I know a lot of people who really like golf. I actually feel really bad for Ben. He comes off as one of those extremely socially awkward dudes that has nervous breakdowns IRL and only talks a big game behind a screen. I've seen Ben uh, in front of some pretty big names, in front of some pretty big people, and Ben does not hold his, uh, his thoughts. I mean, Ben is pretty confident in person. Um, sure, he might do stupid shit and be a moron sometimes. Um, but he's a very smart guy, and that's why he's working uh, at Esports Engine, and he's been doing incredible work. I mean, he sits in on some of really big fucking meetings over at Esports Engine, and he's leading the conversation. Um, so to you, monkey brains, one, uh, you know, you don't need to be so negative, you know? And the, and the fact that this has four thumbs up, I think, just goes to show uh, why some people don't take this Reddit very seriously. And then sometimes you'll see people on Reddit like, oh, you know, why don't you, why don't you guys say this about Reddit? Like, we're not like this, this and that. Well, it's because we read shit like this. And I, I think this is not right. But the only thing Ben has commented about Dashi is his fundamental play and him showing up late and this and that. Things that other people have uttered, have said in the scene, okay? So, like I said yesterday, Dashi making fun of Ben. I thought it was funny, man. Like that, Brucey has a personality. Brucey doesn't need to like Ben. I mean, Brucey probably didn't like what Ben was saying about him, which is fine. Um, but not to just call Ben socially awkward and saying he's a weirdo and in this and, and that. And that. 
Uh, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Like, well, he's a very smart guy. Very smart guy. And the fact, the fact that that post has four thumbs up on it. Uh, by the way, I commented on it, ended up deleting it because I didn't want to get involved. I was getting thumbs down as soon as I commented on it. I deleted it. I said, you know what? Whatever. Why am I even arguing with these people? I just deleted it and just went about my day. Um, but I thought that was ridiculous. I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, and 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 then uh, to go on board with everybody, what everybody else was saying, everybody was giving very good input. So the rest of the thread, I loved. Everybody's having a good conversation, talking about it, uh, going back and forth. But I mean, to come at somebody personally just didn't make any sense to me. It's stupid. The disappointment spreading with Halo's execution. Hope the CDO is at least paying attention. Uh -uh. Can we finally get a when emo? We do need a when emo. We do. We do need a fucking when emo. That'll be fire. That's next up. Uh, and we need some phase emotes as well. We need some phase emotes. Um, but that post bothered me. I just, I just remember reading that. I was laying in bed when I read it. Um, and just knowing how good of a guy Ben is. Like, he just genuinely loves COD and likes to talk about COD. And he's going to give his honest thoughts about players and stuff. Because that's what we do on the show. Um, so if any players are, you know, don't like it, you know, it's warranted. It's fair. Um, but they're just opinions on a game. Um, and Ben has talked very highly about Dashi as well. Let me also highlight that. Ben has not just said nothing but negative things about Dashi. He says a lot of positive things about him as well. Um, but the negatives always outshine the positives, that's for sure. Um, no trophies in the game, but this exists. Bro, what, what was the fuck that? is wrong with this game? What the fuck even was that? This disappointment is spreading with Halo's execution. Hope the CDL is at least paying attention. If you could give a COD fan a wish list for things to be added to competitive to improve the scene, they would describe what Halo is doing right now. The XMLG guys at Esports Engine know exactly what is wanted and what works, and it's great for Halo, but sucks for us. Uh, yeah. I think what Halo is doing is exactly what COD wanted to do, but, I mean, you know. It didn't seem to work out like that. Ben's comedy without him, the flank would not be close to where it is. Still remember when he 1v5 pros. Um, listen, Ben just doesn't care. He he'll be the he'll be the one who's who'll just say whatever he wants because he's not connected to some of these pro players. So pro players are gonna hate him, dude. Like it is what it is. Um, I thought it was funny how people were taking you know personal shots at him though. But whatever, we shouldn't even show it any attention. I should have just scrolled by it. But because it was getting thumbs up, I was like, yeah, typical Reddit, you know. Warming up with aim assist off? No, do not do that, man. Why would you warm up with aim assist off? You should warm up how you're going to play in game. In my in my opinion, I don't know anybody who wor who's warmed up without aim assist. Uh, but I recommend war warming up with aim assist on. Because uh, if you have it off, I feel like it's, I don't know, a little fugaze. Automaton. So do we think the automaton stays in the meta or will it be G like the XM4 was last year? Seems a little too unusable uh, to me. And I know how these posts think. I'm asking, what do you guys think? Um... The automaton will go be gone in a, in a week. No way it stays. Zero chance it's staying. I mean, I was using the automaton yesterday in the in the rocket tournament. And did you guys see what I was doing with that shit? What map was I running it on with the top gun and the ship in the middle? What's the name of that map again? I was frying on that map with that gun. Frying. That gun is lit. Gavitu. Yeah, Gavitu. That map was lit, bro. Or that gun is lit. New Los Angeles Gorillas merch to convert collect. Um, listen, chat, fucking, uh, if this, let me, let me just say this, man, if, if this continues to happen, like, this is my last day, this is my last day on Streamlabs OBS, it's not my PC, it's not my PC, there's no way in hell it's my PC, um, this is Streamlabs OBS for sure, not sure what's going on with it, but, uh, chat, this is my last day on Streamlabs OBS, I don't know what is wrong with it, uh, uh, all it says all it says is, like, disconnected from Streamlabs trying to reconnect back. Like, that's all it says. Like, it just disconnected. My, everything else is working on my end. Uh, nothing is breaking. Um, I'm going to switch to regular OBS for tomorrow. But as of right now, chat, I can't really do anything about it because I'm live. Um, so I'll figure all that tomorrow. Uh, but we're, 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 we're changing to OBS Studio. I've had enough. I've had enough with uh, with Streamlabs OBS. Like, this is ridiculous. That's uh, Dude, my stream has crashed, like, seven times in the last two days. Um... But guys, if my stream does crash, don't go anywhere, man. Because we're coming right back. You know what I'm saying? Um, so don't so don't go anywhere. I apologize for the for the crashes and shit, man. I don't know why it's it's doing that. Um, but I, I do apologize for that. Um it's just uh it's just Streamlabs OBS being dirt shit. So I'm definitely gonna gonna make a change for sure. Uh how good would Optic have been with Envoy instead of Dashy? 
Um, what? I know people are going to dispensers, but I'm watching 50k racket tournament. Shotzi's Scump and Envoy seem to have really good camp. People will talk about roles, but you could easily have Illy running main AR and Envoy Flex. What are your thoughts? We literally have no idea how good teams players are. Yeah, please shut up. Thank you. Okay, we're going to keep going on to the next one. Dashy, dude, Dashy's a fucking beast, bro. Um, Dashy's a beast. I don't think Dashy's going to have... I love watching Dashy's POV. Like, bro, I fucking... I watch Bruce all the time. I watch Bruce all the fucking time. I'm going to be honest. I love watching it. I definitely think they made a good decision keeping Bruce, for sure. These takes are just not it. They're, dude, auto. They're, they're not it, bro. Who, everybody's spamming Hook the Nuke. What's going on? Kyle's not in here, is he? Because I love that kid. Don't tell me Kyle's in here because I fucking love him, dude. I fucking love this guy, dude. Mm -mm. Um, champion mentality. That's why he's a world champ. Look at your screen. Oh, what? Is he on the screen? What? What? Oh, right here. Oh, you were looking at this. Oh, dude. I thought, dude. I'm... Bro, I'm out, dude. What the fuck? Champion mentality. That's why he's a world champ and top three SMG in the league. I'm not faded. I was reading the chat. Chat. I'm reading the chat, man. Dude, I'm reading the chat, man. Come on, dude. Oh, come on. I thought Hook was in the chat. You see a bad game, I see opportunity. I saw. I liked this yesterday. Hook tweeted this yesterday, and I liked this. That shit was funny, bro. I already knew who posted this before I looked at the username. Simple busy shots. See top three sub on his own team, maybe. Bro, Hook is going to show out this year. Chat, can I make a prediction? Can I say that Hook is going to absolutely show out this year? You guys quote me on that. Big Meech, thank you for the five months. 100 bits coming out of Pluna. You should watch the Streamlabs OBS video by CoffeeZilla. It's like 16 minutes. The Streamlabs guys are scumbags. I know exactly what you're talking about, Pluna. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I promise you from here on out, chat, after today's stream, I'm, I'm not, I think I might uninstall Streamlabs. I think I'm going to download all my overlays and stuff on a USB. Um, and reset everything up on, uh, on, uh, on regular OBS. Now, that's gonna be really fucking annoying, because I'm gonna have to go and get all the scenes for the flank. I'm gonna have to get my, uh, I'm gonna have to get my transitions. I'm gonna have to do, do everything. I'm gonna have to fucking do everything. Um, but whatever. You know, I can, I can take care of that. It's not that big of a deal. Um, at this point, I'd rather have a good quality stream than fucking overlays and transitions and stuff. Like, as long as I have the flank overlay, my intermission overlay, and my webcam overlay, I'm chilling. Uh, in terms of, like, all these fucking in these transition screens and shit, I mean, I don't give a fuck. I mean, we, we lost 500 fucking viewers, dude. Like, the stream live shit is pissing me the fuck off, dude. Um, and I also, dude, when, when it does crash, please don't leave the stream. I mean, I know 500 people left, but, like, bro, I, I come right back, man. It's just Streamlabs is fucking me. I have to exit out and open it again and restart it. Um, but, yeah, you don't need to leave, but it's costing my stream. It's definitely costing it. It's fucking annoying, dude. Berlin warehouse roof access, no vaulting. What is this? Okay, pretty cool. Game fuel trading cards. Is there anybody in here who has game fuel trading cards? Any of you guys get this? Is any scrimming Seattle? I will tune in. Illy gets filthy scum breaks, flying dogs, Call of Duty Vanguard launch day highlights. Did we watch this? Oh sh. We didn't even watch that. Let's watch that. I also want to watch this. Um, Berlin B bomb ready lines of sight. Jesus Christ! Look at that. Look at that line of sight. Jesus, uh, dude, what? <laughs> Dude, before we saw this already, this is stupid. Uh, listen, before we hop into some of these team scrims and stuff, let's take a look at the Zuma off your Reddit because you guys have been going hard on here. Uh, first one, I took care of him. Ben is a 31-year-old and his claim to fame was blah, 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 blah. You have to have some serious shit going on in your life to type something out like this about someone you don't even know. Definition of a Reddit weirdo. Yeah, bro, and I'm sure you'll get fucking thumbs down for that too, EMT, because I commented fucking weirdo and I got like six thumbs down in like one minute. And I was like, okay. Whatever. I deleted it and said I will I won't even fucking talk to Reddit at this point because whatever, dude. What is this? When your hands are on the wheel. Fuck are you talking about, motherfucker? Look how easily I lost your partner. Dude, I gotta hop back on GTA tonight. Bro, I gotta hop back on GTA tonight. That shit was comedy, bro. <laughs> that shit was funny, bro. That shit was fucking funny. I definitely gotta hop on fucking, uh, uh, on, on GTA later tonight. Dude, GTA is funny as fuck, dude. And I was just playing it by myself. I didn't have anybody in there with me. Hopefully, Jersey server does well. Zoomafia gotta go run that shit. Opens at 5 p.m. Eastern. Oh, there you go. All right, let's try Jersey server out tonight. I'm fucking down. 
at five o'clock Eastern though, we got the tournament today, so I'll probably join in a little bit later. Um, I don't think I'll join Holy in at the start. Hey, should we go gas him? Should we go gas him, bro? Where is he? Bluetooth. Porter, are you what? serious, Porter? Have it too. Uh, what's what am I serious about? Oh, great, fantastic plays, kid. Thank you, Tommy. Then, face. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> my bad. My bad. He called me a dick face. Seth. What do you want me to do? Oh, Tommy's the first it. one Never to get mind. offended by it. You know. Tommy's, Tommy's, the, Tommy's the first one. What do you mean? To get offended by it? Most people just laugh. Yeah, he called me dick face this morning. And yeah, Seth laughed. Oh, he laughed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seth, the next time call him a bitch. No, I, it was fucking hilarious because he we haven't texted in a while. He just said, "Yo, dick face." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, that was funny. Dinner at a best show in town. It's so much fun watching him compete again last night. In his words, you can't teach that. Hey, dude, thank you so much for the love and support. That looks fucking fire too. You got some chicken, nice crisp on the outside, a nice corn, and some rice, dude. That looks fire. Like that looks heat. And then you got, uh, what is that, Cucumber Gatorade? I'm not a fan of Cucumber Gatorade at all, bro, but I know people who are. Do you guys like Cucumber Gatorade? Do you guys like Cucumber Gatorade? People eat corn on the cob? Oh, dude, hell yeah, bro. I Dude, I pick that shit up and I go to town. I don't like Cucumber Gatorade, though. I fuck with all of this, but the Cucumber Gatorade, I don't fuck with that. But, dude, thank you so much for the support, bro. I appreciate that, man, for real. I appreciate you. You're the first person I ever see willing to drink Cucumber Gatorade. That's fire, dude. Fair trade. What is this? Trade off. We receive vlogs and IRL streams. You receive money. What is that? Oh, they want me to do it. You guys want me to do IRL? Chat, do you guys want me to do some IRL stuff? I Dude, I'm definitely down to do some IRL stuff. Once I start traveling and stuff, I'm, I'm, I'll be left to do IRL stuff. Like, bro, during the season, I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling probably and a lot of the flank stuff. So the stream might not be uh, live every day. Um, just because, you know, streaming is not the only thing that I do. Um, but, um, I would like to do some IRL stuff as I travel and some vlogs and, and some YouTube content. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the main YouTube channel and to the Zoom Eclipse channel. The thing with the main YouTube channel is it didn't, unless it's a flank, like it doesn't get views. I don't know what it is. I get more views on Zoom Eclipse than I do on my main Zuma channel that has like quadruple the, the subscriber count. It's very weird. I don't know if it's like the algorithm or what. Um, but make sure you just subscribe to all that shit. We also got a Zuma VODs channel where we upload all the VODs. Um, so if you guys want to check that out. Uh, PBSH, did they get GA? I don't have Vanguard. Is overpowered or a normal gun? Just wondering since Kenny was good with it in, in World War II. No, PBSH was always there. PBSH was never was never GA'd. Weave, weave. Dude, this was funny. Up, man. Oh, kill him, kill, kill him, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I'm like bleeding. That's bad. You shot, you shot a man, you pussy. Uh, weave, 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 pussy, come in. Come in. Weave, you still can't hit me, pussy. Yeah, you, you're bitch. pretty good at that. You're pretty good at that. <laughs> oh, weave, bitch. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I pistol with oh, this ass. Smacked his ass. I pistol with this ass. Fuck you pussy. talking about, fuck you, uh, bitch. Oh, have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was pistol whipping Crazy this shit. guy. Tomas took Get lessons from ass, Baby Bird. Not, not for long, buddy. Not for watch long. this, chat. Watch this. Now, there's who missed this? One person who taught me this. Only one. He goes by the name of Baby Bird. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Mr. Baby Bird, baby. This one's for you, Baby Bird. <laughs> yeah, front flip. Woo! All right, sir. So you got them all terrain. You can just keep pushing now, sir. Listen, oh, no, listen, I'm out of here, bro. Oh. Hey, what the Let fuck? me see some hands. Let me see some hands. Run. Hands up. Hands up. Where did that go? What the? How did he? What? How did he get... <laughs> oh! Oh! <baby. laughs> These little ass kids. Oh! Baby. These little ass kids, bro. Oh, he's mad. Hey, he's mad. <laughs> hey, he's mad. <laughs> These yeah, little ass mad. fucking kids, dude. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Zuma finesses Hydra. Oh. I finesse Hydra? What do I do? Oh! I'm, dude, I'm actually gross, bro. I'm actually fucking disgusting, dude. No charges in this game, uh, but this exists. I, I still don't know what this is. What is this? 
What is this, bro? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with this game? Dude, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Had the same reaction as him. Like, what was that? Zin City X David Dobrik. Why is everything here? Can someone clip this and tweet it to David Dobrik? I need to party with these people. But I wouldn't skydive. You're out of your right fucking mind you go skydiving. Someone clip him and tweet it, dude. We got a party, man. A soul on you. Dude, what is Tony doing with his arms, bro? He always does that shit. We got big Kool Aid going on. Five bomb. That's the first five bomb of the day. Can we get a woolly? Oh, uh, let's get a woo. Ooh. Come on, baby. Appreciate the five bomb kid. Hell yeah, dude. Savage or pie? Paparazzi on my nuts. Jesus, you're up early. That's not right. That's not right at all. Optic methods? Dude, I could definitely see optic methods for sure. Um, did we watch this? I think we watched this. I think we watched this stuff. You know what I'm saying?